What's going on everybody? I am back with another prize fix WNBA player props video. This one gonna be breaking it down. Give me guys five picks. Get you winning some money over here on prize picks as always. If you haven't checked out prize picks, would highly recommend you check them out. It is a player props website and app where you can win money after picking the over and under on things like players, points, assists, rebounds, points, rebounds, assists, fantasy score, etc. Go ahead and use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100 a day. Again, that is code KJKDFS, go to lock that in, get that free money offer. Start winning some money over here on Prize Picks with these picks today, guys. We have a single gamer in the WNBA, but it's actually going to be a really good one. I'm kind of excited to talk about it for one game. Pretty pumped about this. I'm feeling pretty good about the five picks. I think we can have a nice sweep here. If you haven't checked out the premium content packages, check those out. Link below in the description. You can get access to all my core plays, my tools, my Discord. I did just launch a VIP member package as well. It's going to be access to exclusive Discord, all my packages. And uh, access to every single ticket that I place and all these tickets before I even launch these videos live. So you can get access to them before these bumps occur, etc. So check that out if you enjoy the content. Would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload, guys. Like, goal, and all these videos is going to be 200 likes. If we can get this up to 200, that would be fantastic. Putting in the work on these videos. Uh, I think it's going to pay off on this one. I think we go 5 and 0. So let's talk about it. So we got one game. It is the Las Vegas Aces taking on the Chicago Sky. It's a 170 over under two point spread in favor of the Chicago Sky. So this is expected to stay close, expected to be fast paced. We have some nice high usage players. Uh, we'll kick things off with the away team in the Las Vegas Aces. And we'll talk about Kelsey Plum first. I like her points over here on Price. She's going to be rocking with the over 19 and a half points for Kelsey Plum as pick number one. She takes a ton of shots and she's very efficient with them. Uh, on the season, taking 14.9 field looking. Field goal attempts per game. She takes 7.6 three-pointers attempted. She shoots 41% from three. She shoots 44% from the field. She also takes 4.4 free throws per game. And she shoots 82.9% from the free throw line. So she is an absolute bucket. She gets a ton of usage. The shot volume is going to be there. As discussed, this pace is going to be fantastic for a game environment. So expect her to get lots of shots up. Expect the pace to be flowing. And uh, it's a perfect game for Kelsey Plum to rack up a bunch of points. Looking at her game log, last time out, 14 attempts. 10, 13, 14, 9. And then you look at the free throw attempts. Like I said, 7 for 8 last time out, 4 for 6, 6 for 6, 5 for 7 from the line. So she'll get to the free throw line. She can score, but she's not just reliant on free throws. It's not like that's just an added bonus. She can do, shoot three balls. She can shoot from all over the place. So, and then the shot volume's there, like I said. And to be honest with you, as of late, she hasn't even been shooting as much as she has in some games that we were seeing earlier in the season. 17, 18 shot attempts in these two games. You can see this is the type of game environment with how fast it's expected to be and how close it's expected to be. I think we could see that shot volume kind of return. It's just natural. There's going to be more There's going to be more possession. She's going to have all that usage that she typically has. I think she has a big game after putting up 29 last time. Uh, I think she keeps it rocking and rolling in this one. I like the over 19.5 points for Kelsey Plum. Pick number one. Pick number two. We're going to be going down to her teammate in Chelsea Gray, and we're going to talk about her fantasy score. Uh, her fantasy score I really like over here on Prize picks gonna be rocking with the over 28 and a half. She's been crushing this line outside of last game where she only put up 23.6. But other than that, she's averaging 35.5 over the last five. She hit this in four of the last five, and uh, for good reason. She's a well-rounded player. She plays lots of minutes. She can also rack up a bunch of steals, which is something I'm always looking for. Her steal metrics look fantastic. She has a 2.7% steal metric on my advanced metric sheet. Also, 0.9% block metric. So she will grab a block here and there. Well, uh, you know, not terrible in the blocks. 29.1 minutes per game. On um, the season as well. And you look at how she's getting the job done as of late. Pretty uh, self explanatory when you look at the game logs. I mean, last time out, like I said, she didn't have the greatest of games. That's because that game turned into a blowout, though. Keep in mind, 84 to 66. I would not, you know, deter, make that deter you offer. She clearly was just crushing before. See, five rebounds, 12 assists, 14 points, three steals, five rebounds, four assists, five steals, nine points, one rebound, nine assists, three steals, 21 points. So, like I said, she just racks up a bunch of steals. That's massive for fantasy score. You get three points for every single one of those steals uh, as far as prize picks fantasy scoring is scored. So it's a big deal, and I really like where her line said that she contribute in the other categories. The steals are nice cherry on top. Like the over 28 and a half fantasy score for Chelsea Gray. Pick number two. Pick number three, we're going to be going to another teammate, Asia Wilson. And uh, once again, I like the fantasy. She does it in all categories. I mean, literally everything you could possibly want. Blocks, steals, points, rebounds, assists. Asia Wilson does it all. She's averaging 46.1 over her last five. The line has climbed up to 43.5, which I do think is pretty appropriate. But once again, the game environment, this is a ceiling type of game environment. I mean, we're talking about a 170 over under two-point spread. This is the type of game where she can go out there and put up 50-plus. 
like she did against Atlanta when she put up 55.5. So the 43.5 line, not scaring me off. Maybe if it was a little bit of a slower tempo game, I'd be a little scared. But with how fast it's expected to play with what she does, like I said, the block metrics, the steal metrics, I mean, her numbers are just phenomenal, uh, especially the blocks, man. She racks up a lot of blocks. She's a 6.4% block metric, but a 1.9% steal metric as well. Really, really good. She plays 29.4 minutes per game. And you, I'll just pull up the, the stats for you on the season as far as the uh, league leaders. When you're looking at Miss Asia Wilson, she's second in blocks, and she also gets 1.3 steals per game. So 2.1 blocks per game, 1.3 steals per game. I mean, the shot attempts are phenomenal. 14.2 field goal attempts per game. She shoots efficiently, 49% from the field. She'll also take 2.3 three-pointers per game. She shoots 37% from behind the arc. 5.4 free throws attempted per game as well. She shoots 82% from the free throw line. What more could you ask for, really? 9.7 rebounds. Um, 1.8 assists. She only gets 1.8 assists. What a what a sh what a shame. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, she's the it's she, she's just so good, man. Asia Wilson. So I gotta go with over at 43 and a half fantasy score here for Asia Wilson, pick number three, and uh, pick number four. We're gonna be kicking on over to the other side of this game now with the Chicago Sky. We're gonna kick things off with Miss Parker, Candace Parker. Very similar to what we just talked about with Asia Wilson. Contributes in all the categories, and especially with those blocks. She had a little bit of a tough stretch there, not hitting three straight games, but then the last two games, she's been back to Candace Parker mode. I expect her to score 40-plus fantasy score every single time she takes the floor. She's in uh, Candace Parker mode. She does get a lot of steals, a lot of blocks, same thing. Um, really, really valuable as far as the fantasy score. 2.8% block metric, 1.5% steal metric. She plays 28.7 minutes per game. Shoots 44% from the field, 11.2 field goal attempts per game. 84% uh, from the free throw line. She gets to the free throw line 2.5 times per game. So, I mean, Candace Parker, once again, and I'll just pull up the game logs for the last couple games so you can kind of get an idea of how she's doing it. But pretty self-explanatory. She does it in all categories. 11 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, 21 points, 14 points, 3 steals, 1 block, 3 assists, 10 rebounds. Like I said, she'll get the points, she'll get the rebounds, she'll get the assists, and then the blocks and steals add up real quick when it comes to the fantasy score. She'll do that as well. So, and not to mention she plays lots of minutes. It's going to be a fast up-tempo game environment. So everything adding up. And I really like the discount. I mean, this is a discount line as far as I'm concerned. So I like the over 32.5 fantasy score for Candace Parker. Pick number four. And pick number five, another fan favorite, or my favorite, uh, Emma Mieseman. Same thing as Candace Parker. I mean, lots of blocks and steals. She'll do it in all other categories as well. But uh, the fantasy score just adds up so quick when you get those blocks and steals, guys. So anytime you can get that, it's massive. 27.5 fantasy score. I'll gladly take the over. She's averaging 34.8 over her last five. Had a bit of a down game last time up, but once again, this type of a game environment should help her out. And the line just came down a little bit. I mean, she put up 44, 38, 46, three straight games. So, um, Emma Mieseman looks to be back to uh, beginning of the season four when we were targeting her fantasy score a ton. And I'm going to continue to do it. And once again, I'll kind of just pull up her game logs to give you a visual. But she does it all, and then she will get the blocks and steals. So, five rebounds, nine assists, three blocks, two steals, 13 points, 10 rebounds, six assists, one steal, 16 points. 8 rebounds, 7 assists, uh, 23 points, and then only 1 block in that game. But that just goes to show you the, the versatility of her. And the minutes have been ramping back up. 32, 34, 26, 28. So I'm um, starting to see her play more towards the, the 30s in the minutes. Always important, of course, those minutes. So Emma Mieseman, last pick, pick number 5. We're going to be rocking with the over 27.5 fantasy score for her. And that is my 5 picks to get you winning some money in the WNBA tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. You can check out the premium content packages as well. That's linked below in the description. Patreon.com slash KJK underscore DFS. I do offer premium content for the underdog WNBA, prize picks WNBA, as well as MLB. And if you want to get access to all the above, you need the VIP package. So check that out if you're interested. Sign up for prize picks. Use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100. Lock in these picks. Let's go 5 0 looking to sweep, guys. Best of luck on your WNBA props picks tonight, and we will see you in the next one.